United's caretaker managers Gordon Wallace and Paul Hegarty took their places in the dugout. Motherwell boss Alex McLeish had young Stephen McMillan in from the start for the first time. He took the place of Rob McKinnon, who was out with a hamstring injury. Well relied on the Premier Division's smallest strike force of Arnott and Burns to get them the goals. The new United management team gave a vote of confidence to Ivan Golatz's last selection. The same players that lost to Hearts were given another chance. So, the referee for this Bells Premier Division game was Hugh Dallas from Bonko, match summariser Alan McAnally, commentator Jerry McNee. So, here we go. Then an important match for both clubs. Mother will go into the game trailing Rangers by 15 points and uh, 23 behind in goal difference. But they do have a game in hand. For United, well, they need the points to stay ahead of Aberdeen and Patrick Thistle in the relegation dogfight. And United, like Motherwell, have a game in hand. They're in fact, nine points behind Motherwell. That's just three games. And uh, that's the difference in this league between relegation and the place in Europe. It really is quite crazy. So Motherwell in possession. Spoken by Lambert. McAnally, played through by McKinley. And out for the throw to Motherwell. Well, thankfully, the rain has gone off and uh, will give the Fir Park pitch a chance to recover. And it's taken a real pounding this week. It's away by Kovokovic. by Burns. It's quickly closed down, though. Played off by Trav. Played through by McKinley. Looking for Hannah. Free kick against the United man. A young player who's done ever so well with United this season is now being uh, tracked by Jerry Francis at Spurs. One of a number of United players who could well be moving on. That drifts out for the throw to United. Bowman in his testimonial year. Ten years now at Tanadice. That's away by Martin. Picked up by Dolan. This is Lambert. Back to Philibin. Under pressure there from Daly. And uh, Stephen Woods takes a bit of that situation. A touch from Hannah. This is Crab. McKinley. Bowman. Now it's Hannah. Crab again, who was in at the start of this move, and he wins the free kick. Jimmy Dolan, the offender. And, uh, Martin giving a close eye there on the real threat of Welsh at the set piece. It's Petrich, though, who gets in the header, and it's well taken by Stephen Woods. And that wasn't a bad effort by Gordon Petrich. A lot of the emphasis there on uh, the threat of Welsh, and it was Petrich uh, who stole in. And just away from Lambert, Teju in there. He claims for handball there against Petrich, but uh, the referee points out towards the corner flag. United putting themselves in some difficulty there. It's easily gathered by O'Hanlon, his first little touch of the ball. That's Welsh, Sergio. Close watching things and does well. Slid off by Burns, cut by Dolan, and just pushed that one too far ahead of himself, and uh, he was caught by Sergio. And the referee awards the free kick to United. Philippine. 
Burns, good turn by him. Good cross headed away by Welsh. Iron in by Philip, and the chance is on here, and that's an incredible save by a Hanlon. McMillan coming in there, and a quite remarkable save. Alec Burns did so well initially, and then as a high ball came in, the goalkeeper making a point blank save. Well, I thought for a minute, he certainly did everything he had to do, put the ball on the target, and Calum O'Hanlon really is probably one of the best saves you'll see all season. Did United breathe again? It's Martin's header. This is Davis. Nice little turn by him. Eddie May goes in a run. Wells goes with him. The early cross, and that one dipping over from Dougie Arnott. Good play again by Motherwell, excellent running in the right-hand side by Eddie May. And a good cross delivered by the Motherwell man. Excellent running by him. And the header from Arnott, dipping over. That's Philibin. Looking for Burns, Welsh is with him. And then they concede to the throw-in. shown in this match that they can shield the ball well and uh, force defenders into giving things away. Meanwhile, Martin moves towards the edge of the area. Split in the towards Philbin, the chance on there for Lambert. It's Martin, and it's cleared off the line. Jim McAnally sweeping the ball away. Played in now by Davis, the pressure still on here, Martin still well forward. It's McAnally who cleared that effort off the line, who clears again. No doubt about it, uh, Mullerville have had the better chances in this first half. But, uh, this was the effort just a few moments ago, uh, Lambert completely missed kicked, and it looks as though Martin's shot was net bound until McAnally managed to scoop it away. Martin, you know, the crowd becoming frustrated with so many bodies in the middle of the park. You know, both sides find it very difficult to find a way through. Small pass makes a challenge. It's Sergio giving it away though to Dolan. That's Martin. Complete uh, lack of concentration by him, giving the ball away. And the home fans not at all happy. And I played it through looking for Crab. Well cut out by McMillan. Rupert Arnott. Now it's Davis. Goes down by McAnally. Nice turn by him. Eddie Mays calling for it. Philippin runs in support. Left by Arnott. Burns tries a shot. And that's another superb save by Kelmo Hanlon. That's his second quite tremendous save in this first half. Good build-up, lovely little dummy there by Dougie Arnett and uh, Burns turning, hitting the shot, and the goalkeeper responded. Yeah, great communication by the two front players here, great awareness by Dougie Arnett, and Alex almost got on the score sheet, but Kellum again, equal to the task. And that's Bowman. Bowman sliding in again. And Dolan again is hurt and on the ground. Play goes on, though. Well, we'll have advantage. This is good play by Arnett. And the ball's behind for a goal kick. But uh, Jimmy Dolan will be needing some treatment now. But again, excellent play by Motherwell. Dougie Arnett making the space for the shot. And behind for the goal kick. This is Crab for United. 
foot lighting starting to take some effect now. Just as the half-time whistle sounds, well, there's no doubt about it, uh, Motherwell made uh, most of the running and had the better chances, and Kelma Hanlon is the man responsible for keeping them at bay. And after just nine minutes, he had a quite superb save from McMillan point-blank, knocking the ball to safety. And then towards half-time, he did it again, this time stopping Alex Park. So half-time score here at Fur Park is Motherwell nil, Dundee United nil. The second half of this Bell's Premier Division match. And as you can see, the snow falling heavily. And let's hope that uh, we can see this match through. Well, Motherwell must uh, look back on that horrendous six-week period uh, from uh, mid-December into late January. When they had four home games, they lost uh, three and drew the other, and then lost 6-1 to United at Tannadice in the 21st of January. They've only had the one defeat since then in the Scottish Cup. And they're still very much on course to repeat their feat of last year, a place in the UEFA Cup. But uh, manager Alec McLeish is emphasising to his players that there's a lot of work still to be done. Burns trying to get forward now, Petrich is with him. Burns just keeping the ball in play, supported by Lambert. Motherwell with plenty of players forward here. They've all missed it. And they have to settle for the throw-in. Arnott headed away by Malpass this is Davis Martin looking for Burns good header by Burns that is a superb goal by Alex Burns brilliantly picking his spot there after 54 minutes giving the goalkeeper no chance whatsoever brilliant play by the young Motherwell striker, he gets his sixth goal of the season, just 21 years of age. And how's that for a finish? Absolute brilliance from Alex Burns. Yeah, it really was a great goal. Unfortunately for Kellen Kel Mahalan, he really was brilliant in the first half, having two great saves. But Alex gets a better of him this time, a great near post run. He knows he just has to flick it on. And the ball floated over O'Hanlon. Motherwell are well in control at the moment now. Motherwell 1, Dundee United 0. And Motherwell have the free kick. And United really look in trouble here. Meanwhile, well, the referee wants the kick retaken. a change, Billy Davis who took a few hefty knocks in the first half is obviously still struggling and Andy Roddy the former Aberdeen player comes on to replace him so that goal no more than Mother will deserve for the first half efforts and they've got themselves another free kick United are in danger of falling apart here Be Motherwell's chance to take some real revenge for that 6 1 drubbing they suffered at Tannadice. He's got to look very much in the mood now. He comes across the header, and Dougie Arnett makes it number two. Well, Dougie Arnett's given an awful lot of room there. 56 minutes gone. It's Motherwell 2, Dundee United 0. Yeah, that really shouldn't happen. There's a great ball put in, though, but Dougie Arnett is completely on his own. There's no one near him, it goes right over Morris Malpass and Petrus is behind him. Really, the defence is all over the place here and Dougie had a simple task of just heading it in past O'Hanlon who had absolutely no chance. Well, that'll be interesting to see if Muller will really go for this. It's 
Ideally. Kinley. Malpass. In the cross, Christian Daly is there with a the header. Welsh is well forward. And it's Roddy who gets it away to safety. Challenge going in there from Stephen McMillan. Trying to the early ball. Rockovic intercepts. So by Lambert. This is Petric. Bowman to Crab. Early ball again. Comes off Sergio though. And uh, Dolan clears. And United working hard to try and get themselves back into this game. But uh, Motherwell are very much in the driving seat. Here comes Martin from Motherwell. This is Petric. And for Sergio. It's headed away though by Philibin. Only as far as Malpass. Good play by Malpass. Oh, superb goal by the Dundee United captain. 64 minutes gone, it's Motherwell 2, Dundee United 1, and Morris Malpass gets his third goal of the season. The ball been scored in fairly recent times. A superb strike, the ball bouncing just in front of the goalkeeper, making it difficult for him. But United are back in the match. Well, Morris certainly set the example to his strikers there. Coming inside, good strike with his right foot, <clears throat> just dipped before the goalkeeper. Gave Steve Woods and the goals, absolutely no chance whatsoever. Millen, Dolan, Philibin, now it's May, through to Lambert, and that's a corner kick, good move by Mullerwell, good passing move. Yeah, it was a good move by Mullerwell, good switch of play, one touch football, end result they get a corner and it looks as though they've stemmed the tide of Dundee United a little bit, who were coming into the game after looking to have been bed, dead and buried. I think Brian Martin will be looking to get on the end of this corner, I'm sure. Philippines well forward also. It's played out though, Taz Dolan. First time shot from him, and another great save by Callum O'Hanlon. Superbly struck by Dolan. And for the third time in this match, a superb save by the United keeper. So Noel Gagan trying to kill United off here. Dolan. Lambert. Back to Dolan. The early ball in from him. Martin's there. He gets right under that one. A good early ball. Played in. So the opportunity was there. Martin getting right under that and heading it high over the target. Oh, by Martin, just down by Arnett. Good ball through for Burns to chase, but uh, in the end, just too much pace in it. The intention was good. So Jaron Nixon. Philippine got the better of them. However, United have the throw. They're not in a hurry to get on with things. This is Nixon. McKinley. Now it's Bowman. Flipping it in. A good run by Malpass. And so unlucky. Great run again by the United skipper. Timing his run well. And the header dipping over the crossbar. Bowman it was who swung it in. And so unlucky. Certainly a great ball from Dave Bowman. And Morris couldn't have taken his run any better, but when he sees it again, 
he knows it really is a complete open goal. All he needs to do is hit the target. It would have to be an extraordinary save from the goalkeeper to stop that one going in. So Gordon Wallace and Paul Hegarty will be heartened by what we're seeing at the moment, but there's still work to be done. United trailing by two goals to one. And by Martin, just down there by McInerney. Now it's McKinley. This is Welsh looking for Brewster. Way back to Vokovic, this is Dolan. Petric. United giving Mullerwell in their own half at the moment. It's Welsh to Nixon. McAnally, Daly. McAnally again. Finley. It's Eddie May who got it away. And as far as Nixon. It's McAnally. Little touch on the other chance for Brewster, but he couldn't get anything into that one. It was Hannah who got the ball through in his direction. Certainly it's all done D United at the moment. Love the little flick from Hannah. The ball just wouldn't come down for Big Brewster. Brian Martin did enough just to get it back to the goalkeeper. This is May from Motherwell. Number. There's Burns. Dolan. Oh, the shot, but uh, it never really looked as though it would cause a problem. Always was travelling wide. And we did have an excellent effort not so long ago, which brought out a good save by the keeper, who covered it just in case. Sullivan flames for that one. And it's May with Malpass. Malpass does well again. This is Nixon. That's McKinley, Bowman calls for it. United pushing a lot of players forward. And almost gifting a chance to Christian Daly, who hit the ball straight at the goalkeeper. It looked as though there was sufficient cover there to deal with that situation. The ball was played in. Daly had missed, but uh, still managed to get in the shot. Burns to chase, he's showing tremendous pace, Hamlet's in the middle, Roddy's arriving, so too is Lambert. Level content just to knock it about. This is Martin. That's Roddy. It's a minute of injury time played. Well, we're keeping the ball when they want it inside the Dundee United half. Stigy Amit in there with uh, Petric and Bowman. And there goes the final whistle. So Motherwell stay on course for the remaining UEFA Cup place. Dundee United still have a real fight on their hands against relegation. Two goals for Motherwell coming in the space of two minutes. First a delightful header from Alex Burns, which completely took on Callum O'Hanlon, who'd been a United hero, and then Dougie Arnott had given a lot of space to pick his spot in the back of the net. The final score here at Fair Park is Motherwell 2, Dundee United 1. So, defeat for United, and Jerry, there's further bad news for United fans today. Yeah, Brian Welsh will miss uh, Tuesday night's game against Hearts at uh, Tenadice. Uh, United have been told he's been reported uh, for abuse of and foul language to the, the match referee yesterday. That's the equivalent of a red card, so if the report reaches the SFA, that means he misses the game. But Dundee United were disappointing, especially in the first half yesterday. They came back a bit mullable, though, I thought did enough to, to win the match. And Alec Burns uh, looks an outstanding young player, with Tommy Coyne being out. He's really responded uh, with goals. First touch here, not the best, but he, he turns and hits a very good cross. And especially throughout the first half, he caused problems. Delightful little dummy there from uh, Dougie Arnott and a good shot on target, another good save from the goalkeeper. And these two worked extremely well together uh, th throughout the match. And you, you see it here with, uh, with Burns going on a good decoy run, taking Malpass with him and Dougie Arnott uh, getting in the shot. They really worked well together, Alan. Yeah, did he? His work rate was first class and, and culminated in, in getting a good goal. I'm going to give the benefit of the doubt here and say he did see Kellen coming off his line to think he was going to get, going to get the ball. But really, it's, it's, a great, it's a great ball in from Martin, but really he does everything right, gets just enough on it, 
And poor Callum, who was brilliant in the first half, had no chance. Mm. What about young Stephen McMillan, his first full game, Alan? How did he cope? Yeah, I thought he was very, very good yesterday. Um, I think Alex got a real find there. I mean, you know, Rob McKinnon's almost made that position his own, but really he'll have to think about uh, you know, his place a little bit more now. He really he showed quite a lot of experience and, and, and plenty of times, and he wasn't just prepared to sit at the back. You know, he finds himself in a probably where he, he didn't think he would be in Killam. It's like an unbelievable save. They did everything right, his shape was good, attacked the ball. And I'm sure he's watching that now and still can't believe it never went in the net. But not only that, he was very, very strong here. I mean, Steve, uh, the shot crab you know, brought him down for the simple reason. He showed good strength uh, and, good, and good speed. And, you know, he, he's really one for the future. Alan mentioned O'Hanlon, Jerry. Now, if it wasn't for him, they would be a few down at half-time United. Oh, without a shadow of a doubt. This has been a, a problem position for Dundee United for a number of years now. It cost only 30000 from Preston. I mean, that, that is a marvellous save, reflex save. And uh, throughout the first half, he did extremely well. Very much kept United in the game. He's going to be an important man for them in the weeks ahead. I think they will stay up because they have good quality players. But uh, he did particularly well yesterday. Yeah, he, he did. I mean, uh, Motherwell could have almost run away with the game at one point. You know, if they'd these two chances in the first half, and then obviously the, the go ahead in the second half. Uh, <clears throat> I think really bed and butter save there. But again, you know, he's. He's keeping a clean sheet, Jamie does everything right, gets on target, but, you know, Kellum keeps him out, but unfortunately he didn't just do enough in the day. And we're talking about important players for United in the week's side. Morris Malpass, the captain, led by example. He really yeah. did pick them off the deck in that second half. And uh, he's been scoring a few goals of late as well, Alan. But uh, he, he took it well, and uh, he's a player who's been around for a long time now. You know, you look back to Neri and Hegarty, Malpass is right up there, I think, with any United player. And this is the point that we're starting to get back into the game, and he was very much part of it. You see him calling for the ball. They started stringing the passes together. Yeah, absolutely. I, mean, I know Morris really well, obviously, from Scotland days and things. And you know, he, he, he's a kind of he's not an outward-going going character said by any manner of means. But I mean, he's the one. He knows that he's almost in charge in the field, and him alone. He has to drive them on. And really, he couldn't have done any more by setting an example by scoring there yesterday. And they really did get a grip of the game and set Motherwell right back on, on the 30-yard on the line and didn't go out at all. And Morris does everything great, I'll give him a bit of stick. He doesn't score enough of them. But I mean it was it was really influential on in Saturday, you know, and again you see him highlighted here. He started and he makes Dave Bowman's job so easy for himself. Dave just clips it in, Morris away, and really it would have been a great save had it hit the target or to keep it out, but you know, he really knows he should have scored there. But a, a disappointing performance by Dundee United, I thought.